a wonderful Wednesday morning. <laughs> I know I'm late with posting my videos. I've been uh, fighting my internet here. Um, I've been trying since last night, trying to upload the, the first video from Sunday. Um, well, uh, Monday and Tuesday was work, and uh, yeah, I'm still in the wrong time zone. Jet lag is really getting to me this time. So, cheers, here's some coffee. Ah, oh, man, that is good stuff. Hawaiian blend, fantastic. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of kind of my story for the last two days. <laughs> I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I've been, you know, working the 12-hour shifts again. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Getting up early, that's that's not the problem. I'm I'm awake around about five o'clock in the morning. That's not like I said, it's not the big issue. But uh seven o'clock at night, you know, I come home, take a shower and then it's I'm done. So have haven't been up to uh up to speed with, you know, getting my videos uploaded, so I've been trying since last night and uh, just doesn't want to, so let's see how this goes. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, got a good start to the week. Uh, mine wasn't too bad. Um, wasn't the chaos that I was expecting to uh, run into, thank goodness. And it was actually somewhat quiet, but I uh, already got text messages this morning. Uh, normally I'd have tomorrow off too. That got cancelled. I uh, gotta be in there. And then work the whole weekend also. And I've already heard it's gonna be a busy one, so... We're starting off the year just like we ended the last one. Mm. <laughs> I am digging this coffee. This is the, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the Ingalls House brand, the Hawaiian blend. Fantastic stuff. A little bit of a fruity note. We really like it. Very, very mild uh, roast. Um, very, very enjoyable. Right. Enough of the babbling. We're going to get into the shave. Now, get things in order first things first I did get a vintage brush while well this was part of the stuff that I had acquired uh, during the course of the year and which was kinda just stashed at my mom's house and uh, part of that was this brush now I don't know if this will zoom will it zoom will it zoom yes it will if you notice there is a deer or a stag or whatever you call it, a deer, um, a buck on there, which means Hirsch in German. Hirsch is the male deer and uh, it says made in GDR. GDR being the, being East Germany basically. So you know that brush is at least uh, well, when when did it officially end? I think 1990. So, you know when that was made before 1990. Uh, I've just found out that uh, the Hirsch Pinsel Fabrik, um, the Hirsch brush manufacturing, was part of Mühle, and uh, so technically it's a Mühle brush. Pretty cool. <laughs> now, this is a vintage knot. This is the original knot that, that was in there. And uh, just cleaning it out and lathering and just making sure that everything is, you know, up to snuff. And uh, it's sanitized properly. Um, that thing shed worse than a golden retriever in springtime. Uh, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, uh, JR, you're going to get a project on this one. Uh, to replace that knot, but I'd like to at least try the knot uh, one time on my face and um, yeah, just uh, you know, conserve the original thing because it is a GDR product, uh, they're not made anymore, so the country's not around anymore. So, going along with that theme of the GDR thing, uh, try to piece together what I could uh, to kind of match that. Now, uh, shaving cream, I do have the Florina men which was back in the day uh, while the GDR was still around um, 
the Nivea of the Eastern Germany. So, Florina, uh, one of the uh, thankfully successful brands that uh, survived the unification of Germany and is still around today, although, funny enough, it is now owned by the parent company of Nivea. So, uh, what used to be a direct competition is now basically brother and sister, their kin. Um, but they are still produced in Eastern Germany and uh, they do have a little bit of a different formulation and different scent. So they are different creams. Uh, they're very similar, of course, because uh, they, they both are owned by Biosdorf and Biosdorf uh, be stupid if, uh, you know, uh, they'd waste money. So I take it some of the components are similar. Uh, if you look at the ingredients list between the two. It, it reads very similar also, but the scent is different. Apparently they preserve the original scent of the original Florina shave cream to some extent. Uh, I've read some reports where people had the original from way back in the day and say, well, it has changed slightly. But uh, usually with reformulations, that's how it goes. But yes, here, this is what it looks like. It's still available and I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, so if, if you can get your hands on it, give it a shot. Uh, it's excellent performance. Um, but a little bit of a different scent. Uh, I just like preserving an old brand like that, even if it is, you know, I grew up in West Germany and uh, I was born in West Germany uh, back in the day and, uh, you know, I have no affiliation really with e the Eastern part too much except uh, ancient history of my family. But uh, yeah, no, it's just one of those brands, those old tiny brands that you like to stick around with. Um, also, I have the matching sensitive aftershave balm, which is very uh, Nivea type-ish, but also a different scent, which I like very much. Um, I unfortunately do not have uh, an original GDR, slash if you want to say it in German, uh, DDR, uh, aftershave. So I'm going to need your help on that. Uh, if there's anything around that... Uh, it's still produced in eastern part of Germany and you know a traditional brand anything like that give me some tips I'm, I'm not very familiar on this type of topic but bink, here we go razor I did get this in from you know during the Christmas break with the with the razor here this is also a GDR product a golf razor uh, you've seen this before in one of the shaves uh, this little thing here made of Bakelite plastic aluminum it's extremely light um, looks pretty darn cheap but uh, gave a good shave so we're going to be using that again um, three piece razor I mean this thing weighs I mean a couple of grams this is ridiculously light I don't have a scale that goes down that fine but I pretty well can tell you that it weighs less than the Makua 45 Bakelite that's just a hint on how light this thing is uh, metal threads um, Big light cap. I think this might actually be plastic because it has injection molding marks on it. So this is some sort of plastic which was injection molded. Three piece, like I said. And in this, I know I have the uh, Chroma Diamant, which is made in um, f uh, in a factory which was around uh, back in the day uh, in the GDR, Fine Technik Eisfeld, which is now owned by Harry's, incidentally. But they also produce this blade. Hold on, let me just get it out of the wrapper so you guys can see it. And they make a whole lot of blades, kind of like, uh, you know, for, for OEM brands, um, rebranding that kind of deal. This one, Izana Men, made in Germany, blade. Now, Izana is the house brand of a pharmacy called Rossmann. And I believe these blades are made also by Fine Technique Icehead. And uh, hold on a second, we'll cut right here. Sorry about that. Uh, wasn't prepared uh, properly. This is what they come in. This is what they look like. You can buy this in the store, in the pharmacy. Ten blades for one euro fifty, which is, I think, what, about a buck eighty or something like that for ten blades. Decent price. And um, they sell them all day long. Um, here. Let's see if that focuses. Yeah, hergestellt in Deutschland, made in Germany, and uh, just kind of going off of a couple of chit chats with somebody on the uh, Rossmann um, social media team. 
Uh, they are not made in Zollingen, and there's not all too many other blade manufacturers around, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's made in uh, by Ice Technic. Fine, Fine Technic Eisfeld, there's a name for you, uh, which is, like I said, in East Germany. So, hmm. so technically, East German brand. We'll put that in there, first use. And like I said, it's a fairly inexpensive blade. I mean, you know, like a... Oh, 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 you stay there. Buck 80 for 10 blades. I know it's not the cheapest, but uh, for a store-bought, I'll take it. We'll see how it does in this razor. I have never used this combination before. Like I said, I had just received this razor. Uh, recently. And uh, I know this didn't show up in the, in the original video. Let's see if this... You see the how much of the blade is exposed by that cat? <laughs> so this is a very audible feedback type deal. Let's see if that... It doesn't have a whole lot of gap, which makes it very manageable. It is efficient. I'll give you... I'll, I'll tell you that already. So, that'll be the razor, that'll be the blade, we got the soap, we got the brush. Let's get going, huh? So yeah, that was a lot of babbling and history and around about 11, almost 12 minutes worth of blah blah. Terribly sorry about that, but like I said, there's a little bit of history behind the theme of this shave. And as you can see, it's uh, very Nivea looking. Nivea. We'll just apply that liberally. There we go. That's about all you need. It's a very, very nice cushiony slick soap. I've used it in the past plenty of times. Never on camera though, uh, I believe. Um, it's got a very nice fresh soapy scent. Kind of it's it's not uh, not citrusy, not lemony. It's kind of just very comforting, uh, soapy type deal. Um, hold on a sec. I got got something poking in my eye there. So let's shake out the brush and see how it does. Somewhat stiffer. Now the brush has been soaking for about uh, 15, 20 minutes now. Well. Since I've been talking almost 25 minutes, put that in there before I went to the shower, which was shortly before I started the video, and it is very, very scritchy. It's 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 pokey. Uh, this reminds me more of a boar brush, a stiff boar brush, than a badger. Get some, some water on that. I know this soap can take some. Now the reason I bought this, um, even if the knot would have been total crap, I just like the handle. But since the uh, the knot was still looked in, in unused condition, I mean if you guys can see this, I don't know if this will show up properly. There is still the remnants of the sticker, the price tag, that it was sold with. So, you know this brush hasn't been used. Now, if you paint this on, it is actually very comfortable. But, if you scrub it, it'll poke you. So... Let's just get some more water in this thing. I've got about... Uh, yeah, shaved last Sunday, so... Almost three days of growth. Two and a half. Somewhere along that line. So using a little bit more efficient razor is going to be okay. Just kind of getting rid of the stubble. cushiony leather. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. How's that look? Got some. Got enough product here, I'd say, for the second pass at least, and some pickups. It's not the biggest knot, and it's not very flopsy. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of a bore brush. So, let's get going. The uh, Erich Honecker commemoration shave. Uh, any East German viewers, I apologize about that one. Erich Honecker, um, for those of you who don't know, he was uh, like the last big head honcho in the GDR. Now the uh, plastic does not slide as quite as nicely as a metal razor would. But it is giving off a very, very nice shave. Yes, you can feel a little bit of the blade, but not to the point where it would be, I would deem it uncomfortable. There we go. Really taking it down. And it's taking some getting used to. Uh, dealing with the weight of these razors. I mean, you saw some of the shaves that I did in Germany with these light things. And this is something I'm definitely not a hundred percent acquainted with. But it is giving off a nice shave. This thing really sings. I was watching uh, Cincy's video with the uh, Rimai. Chinese razor, I believe. And that thing gave some serious feedback. Audible. As you can hear, this one does the same. Maybe not quite as much, but there we go. Uh, there's a couple of couple of hairs coming out again. So we'll see how the uh, the knot will hold up in uh, in time. If uh, it's not possible to. Uh, salvage or keep the knot in, in working condition it will be a re-knot project so because I do like that handle and I'm telling you guys going from scruffy looking I am now socially acceptable this looks clean shaven there's only a few uh, a few spots where I need some against the grain. So, got some water on the face. Let's paint this on. Get some more water in there. I overloaded a little bit on the soap or on the cream. Didn't need that much. But I didn't know how the, uh, how the brush was going to be able to handle it. So I'd rather have a little more product than not enough. Although it is, you know, not a problem to go back, especially with the cream. Just squeeze some out, put some on, we lather done. Very simply done. All right. And 
this isn't the smoothest cutting blade. It's not rough, but you can feel the resistance. I think the uh, exposure isn't helping. It's not gliding along on its own, that's what I'm trying to say. You have to kind of push it. But it's not comfortable, it's not tugging. Uh, it's not comfortable, it's not uncomfortable, it's not tugging in any kind of way. But light razor, large exposure. It's kind of grabby. Like I said, you have to push it a little bit. Very usable blade. Like I said, you just walk into the pharmacy and go get them. That's the nice part. Very efficient. Now with these light razors, I always gotta watch out that I don't push too hard just to I kind of maintain skin contact. Especially against the grain. Because they do like to, you know, just kind of skip skip along a little bit. If you're like, you know, going with the no pressure deal, like you would with a heavier razor, I would definitely recommend that there. But with these, you have to actually just you know, see to it that you maintain skin contact because they will bounce around a little bit. No, I'm not horsing it or any kind of you know deal, but you just gotta make sure that you know everything's running smooth, everything's staying in contact, and uh, <laughs> I think we are done almost. Let me just rinse off real quick and check. Lots of residual slickness left on the skin. Very protective. Let's see, this is the only spot right there. Smooth, smooth. A little bit here, a little bit there, okay. We'll just lather up just a tad and uh, finish off those two little bits. Okay, brush held enough leather looks a little thin but this is you know, totally acceptable here's what's left great stuff let's just see here as you can see good quality leather got some really nice sheen I don't know if it'll show up properly but it's got some really nice sheen on it so let me just rinse my hand otherwise it'll get a little slick on the razor because the soap or this cream is slick. There we go. Just knocking that last little bit out. Yes, I'm going overboard. <laughs> As you can
peek in here. There is not much left. Tell you what guys, I'm calling it. I will rinse off and then I'll see you back for the post. And we're back. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is good soap. Uh, or good cream. Um, there is tons left on the skin. The skin right now is feeling wonderfully hydrated and protected. Very slick. Well, not really slick. You know, the soap's already off, but you know, you can just feel there's something, something there that's still taking care of you. Very nice. Uh, it does contain, I believe, aloe or something like that. Let me just have a look. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Ah, uh, this doesn't. The cream doesn't, but I know the uh, the aftershave bomb does. So yeah, let's get some wood chisel on. Wouldn't be a shave without it, right? Just a general variety. Decanted into a, a little more nicer bottle. And my skin is needing some help right now. Because oddly enough, and I have this every time I go from Germany, or you know, from here to Germany, I have a couple of days where my skin kind of just kind of freaks out due to the water change and different air and, and you know just in general I think it's the airplane travel which isn't helping either and I have the same coming back it takes about three to four days for everything to kind of bounce back into normal so while this is drying in let's uh, just go through what we used start off with the brush because that was kind of the, uh, the thing behind it I'll kick this off. This is a Hirsch pinsel made in GDR Badger. As you can see, it's a very small knot. Uh, this is just the way brushes were made back in the day, I guess. Very prickly <laughs> when you use this, but as far as painting it on, works wonderfully. So we'll see how this wears in, if it uh, if it'll come around or not, and uh, yeah, if it loses. Hairs to the point where the knot is unusable. It's going to J.R. Reyes from Reyes Restorations. Worked great. Like I said, a bit prickly. Very reminiscent of a bore brush this time. Uh, along those lines, traditional GDR brand Florina. Florina Men. Uh, looks a little different nowadays than it did back in the days, of course. They did a little bit of rebranding here. Uh, Fantastic cream. Uh, really can recommend it. Uh, it's a very nice, pleasant uh, scent. Uh, a little bit on the warmer side, not so much the fresh, sporty type, which you, you know is, is typical for Europe somewhat. Um, this is just a nice comfort type shave. Going towards Nivea, I mean they are you know related, but uh, different scent than the uh, Nivea. So as far as the razor goes, hold on, let me just get the packaging. This here, the Golf. I have no clue what model this is, but it's East German production. Very, very light. Uh, Bakelite cap, plastic uh, ba uh, base plate, and uh, extremely cheap aluminum handle. Uh, but it does the job. It, it gave a fantastically uh, I wouldn't say, um, efficient shave. Uh, you do have to watch out. It'll bite you. And it did on a couple of spots uh, where I got myself a little little nick or something like that, or a little weeper. But uh, nothing dramatic. It is a very smooth result. It was comfortable. And uh, the blade, first use, uh, this is what they come in. This is what they look like. Just very generic uh, packaging there. Uh, let me just see if I can pull that out here. Hold on. The Rossmann or Izana. Men uh, razor blades made by Fine Technik Eisfeld, I believe, which would be East German. East German, it's one country, but uh, it is in the uh, historically East German. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a proper aftershave uh, to just kind of 
finish this uh, fantastic shave off with. So we're just going to go with the uh, Florina Men Balm. Um, I believe similar uh, to the Nivea, somewhat similar. It at least looks like it. I mean, Balm's a Balm, they all look kind of look the same, somewhat, to some extent. Uh, different scent. Uh, a little fresher, a little different to the Nivea. So that's about what we're going to use. It's probably way too much. But, and I guarantee you, I would have gotten some feedback on this shave, especially around about here and there. Little thing I do if I use a bomb, bring it up to your eyes. This is where the ladies always apply the moisture cream. And what do you think bomb is? <laughs> So, yeah, I will leave it at that for now. Luckily, there was already a little bit of alcohol in the witch hazel. That's why I like that medicinal one, the regular store-bought one, due to that little bit of alcohol. So, I'd say that was it. I hope you liked the shave. And, uh, yeah, I'm off. Hope to upload this soon, and see you then. Bye-bye.